let me just first uh, introduce myself. Uh, good evening, uh, London time to everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Senia and uh, I am act as a director of the Center for Financial and Management Studies, CEFEMS. Uh, so I am really honored to uh, be here with you and uh, present to you uh, 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 what is uh, what is going on at CEFIMS and some of the uh, the ways of uh, what CEFIMS is and uh, uh, some of the history of CEFIMS as well and also uh, um, about uh, how the study at CEFIMS goes. Uh, so what I've heard is that uh, you are uh, either thinking about applying or you have already applied. So I'm sure you will have some uh, questions to, to ask after. So once more, uh, once more warm, warm welcome and uh, let's start from the beginning. Uh, so uh, University of London, uh, we call it a golden triangle of Britain. Uh, so we have University of Cambridge, University of Oxford and University of London. So it's a federal university like um, uh, Cambridge and Oxford operates uh, with 17 colleges and 10 research institutes and centers. And all of us are um, having uh, the work on campus. We do, we do a lot of uh, teaching on campus. However, we also have um, a separate uh, distance learning programs, which we offer uh, to the students uh, who are uh, studying from abroad. And uh, uh, the university itself is founded in uh, 1836 and uh, has uh, over 75,000 students in the UK. Uh, however, like uh, we started with distance learning uh, way, way, way before internet and online and Zoom. Uh, we started in 1858 when Britain still was an empire. Uh, so, uh, now we have 55,000 students uh, all over the world in 180 countries and uh, a global reputation and experience uh, for uh, teaching uh, and research, both online and offline. Uh, so this is one of the first universities, yeah, actually it is the, the first university in Britain uh, which allowed females to study. Uh, University of Cambridge, University of Oxford in the 19th century didn't, uh, didn't have it, uh, um, didn't have it in, in their university status. Uh, however, SOS was, a, I'm sorry, University of London was the first one uh, who, who had this. Uh, and that, that was what made University of London a bit different than other universities uh, around the world. And uh, we started, uh, we started uh, with business learning programs. And um, how we did it at that time, uh, as uh, Britain was empire, uh, and uh, we had students studying uh, um, on distance. They were, they had their secondments uh, in different parts of the empire, and they still needed to study and to understand the world around them. So what has happened is that they were basically the, the books were basically shipped by boats and they were receiving it and studying it. Uh, very colonial past of the university indeed. Uh, however, this is something what we need, uh, we, we need to discuss on further uh, being, being at SOAS, uh, what, what this colonial past has, has brought to current and contemporary contexts of where, of, of where we are at the moment. So um, going back to CEFIMS, Center for Finance and Management Studies, uh, we, are, uh, we, we are at SOAS, School of Oriental and African Studies, and we are one of the partner institutions of the University of London, uh, which delivers uh, programs in finance and management studies. Uh, so we offer these international, internationally recognized master uh, programs by distance learning. And uh, at the moment, we have about 2,500 students who are studying in, all, in over 160 countries, studying online, enrolled on our courses. Uh, 
uh, so 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 for some other um, uh, some other programs uh, like uh, Center for Development and Environment and Policy (CEDEP). This is our sister program. Then Center for International Studies and Diplomacy (CISD). Media and gender studies. We all operate on distance or, or, or online learning, depends on, on the program. Uh, but uh, as SFMs, we operate uh, straight on uh, distance. So I will explain a bit more later on the difference between distance and on online learning. Uh, so uh, at the moment, uh, we, do, uh, we do master programs, uh, diploma programs, certificates, and professional awards uh, so uh, individual pro professional awards is when you're taking only one module it's very similar to those executive ed education programs where you study one particular module for for uh, for two months and you uh, you, you pass exam uh, which is always in September or October and you get a, a individual professional award awarded by the U University of London. We have uh, postgraduate certificate programs, postgraduate diploma programs, and uh, uh, MSc programs. And I will explain uh, uh, the, the number of credits uh, for, 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 for each of them. So uh, when it comes to uh, individual professional award, that's one module. Uh, so uh, that's uh, even if you take only one module, you're accredited. Then if you want to, uh, to, to go further and uh, take, uh, take, take postgraduate certificate, you take two modules. If you uh, want a postgraduate diploma, you take four modules. And if you want a MSc degree, uh, you take six modules. Uh, one important point to mention is that uh, dissertation is uh, elective module. You don't need to take it. Uh, but if you take it, you need to take also research methods module, unless you are studying quantitative finance. In that case, if you are studying quantitative finance, you don't need to take research methods. You can straight, hold, straight go to dissertation. For all our programs, dissertation is not uh, obligatory, but uh, but uh, you can you can uh, uh, you, you can take it. Uh, it's not a uh, it, it's uh, not not a not a problem. And yeah, uh, uh, um, uh, we, we can we can share the slides, no problem at all. Uh, so that's uh, that's okay. And uh, another point to mention, which may be also inter interesting for you, is that uh, you you can also start with MSc program, but uh, you can exit earlier. Uh, sometimes we have students who are working full time and uh, and uh, um, uh, need some extra work. Uh, um, uh, they have some maybe some family issues. Uh, get married. Um, travel abroad, and uh, we then have uh, exit degrees. So if you start MSc program, but you want to exit earlier, you can exit with with a PhD, uh, postgraduate diploma. And that's uh, that's uh, for uh, for four modules. Uh, so it's all it's all uh, uh, very flexibly organized. But why is that uh, uh, so? Uh, so I will uh, show it on, on my next on my next slide. Uh, so uh, for MSc programs, you have to take uh, six modules, as as mentioned. And uh, MSc uh, program uh, program offerings uh, uh, are in MSc in finance and financial law, MSc uh, finance banking, finance economic economic policy, finance and financial sector management, uh, finance and quantitative finance. I already mentioned the, the, the program. Then you can take International Business Administration, MSc in International Business Administration, MSc in Public Financial Management, and then MSc in Public Policy and, uh, and Management. So these are, uh, these are uh, uh, our offerings, uh, our different uh, degrees which you can take. Uh, if you want to do a, a, a diploma, but postgraduate diploma, uh, 
so you can take you can take uh, four modules and uh, depending on which modules you take you get you get uh, you get to one of these degrees banking economic policy finance financial law financial sector management policy studies public financial management public management finance and international business administration uh, uh, postgraduate certificate modules and you can take uh, one of those one of those uh, uh, modules as international uh, individual professional award where you take only one module and you get a certificate uh, of achievement in that particular module so you get a like you also have some new modules like doing doing business in africa uh business and economics in china uh so we have reworked uh, the, the modules uh, uh the, the modules on sub-saharan africa and they're now in, including the whole african uh, african continent uh, so uh and these are the study sessions uh which we, we uh, which we have at the moment uh so these are the, these are the dates and the uh, and the deadlines uh for applications so for session three i uh, I assume you are the more you're interested in session three. Enrollment has just opened, and the application deadline is uh, uh, 14, 14th of March on my birthday. And uh, then enrollment closes on 29th of March, and the uh, session starts date is on uh, 12th of April. So these are these are the dates uh, to, to keep in mind. And these are very strict uh, dates, uh, as, as far as I understand. Uh, and then on, uh, uh, application starts on May the 15th. Uh, enrollment, uh, uh, that, that's uh, application, uh, application deadline. Enrollment opens on, uh, on 23rd of May. Uh, enrollment closes on 6th of June and 21st of June, uh, the session starts. Uh, so these are uh, the two following se sessions, which are which are uh, which are about to, uh, to, to take place. So it's usually uh, that the dates are uh, as it follows. Um, uh, the dates are November, January. February, April, April, June, July, September. That's usually how how it works. Uh, so, and how is uh, is all the teaching organized uh, uh, with with us at Cephas? So, the first four weeks, uh, uh, you're, you're studying uh, the, the first part of the of the module. Let's say you take the you, you take the module doing business in Africa. And uh, the first four weeks, uh, you study uh, you study uh, the first four four me weeks guided modules. You receive your you have your units, and uh, you you study your first four units. One of the points uh, which I would like to mention here, which is quite important when it comes to distance learning uh, studying, this is not online learning. You don't have online lectures. The this is the, the distance distance learning pedagogy uh, or pedagogy. Uh, I I've heard that I can use both words. Uh, so that it's uh, on this is learning. So it's a very uh, very uh, flexible. Uh, so uh, you can fit in your day to day life if you work full time. You can fit uh, studying uh, daily like uh, two hours, uh, uh, one or two hours per day uh, to, to to do your studying in order to in order to be able to pass uh, your your exam. So I, I'm saying to students always instead of, instead of watching uh, Netflix or binge watch, watching a net, net Netflix TV series, why not uh, doing something uh, slightly different? Reading the units and uh, and uh, the reading material uh, for for SEFIMS, for your, for the degree. And then you have a week five. Uh, this is the week uh, where you. Uh, uh, when when you are uh, catching up on the reading you haven't managed to finish uh, in weeks one to four, and uh, you are writing your essay, 
And after week five, you submit your first assignment, your first essay. This is 1,500 words long. So it's not very, a, a very long essay, but it covers sessions one to four. And it helps you to prepare you for, for week six and nine and your exam. Uh, so uh, then after week five, you continue with week six and uh, to nine, where for four weeks you study. Again, uh, you have uh, uh, the, the, um, the weekly units, unit, uh, unit six, unit seven, unit eight, and unit nine. And week 10, where you are uh, uh, again uh, uh, writing the assignment, which, uh, which focuses on week six to nine. And, uh, and uh, um, you, you're writing another assignment uh, and you're uh, of 1,500 words and you're submitting it uh, the, the, uh, on the week 10 or week 11. So, and by doing doing so, you're getting the feedback from your from your tutor. Uh, week one to four uh, assignment feedback, and week six to nine uh, studying, week ten uh, reading, and you're getting the feedback, and uh, you're ready to take an exam, uh, which is taking place uh, in September or and October every year. You only have one exam per year, one exam date uh, per year, and that is uh, how it's uh, uh, how it has been since 18, uh, 1858 uh, at the University of London, and it works like that for more than one hundred fifty years. So you say, why why would we change something which which works well? So uh, the exams are take, uh, are taking uh, are taken online. Um, uh, in a, in your own home, uh, but the exams are proctored, are proctored and uh, uh, it is um, it is um, uh, done in this, in such a way. What else I would like to to, uh, to tell you? I'm sure you're going to have lots of uh, lots of questions about uh, uh, exams. Uh, but uh, what you're going to receive? You're going to receive a compre comprehensive study package with units textbooks and reading. Once more, just to, uh, to, to say, you don't have the, the lectures, you don't have any online material. It's all uh, in that sense, like you don't have online lectures. You don't have uh, PowerPoint presentations from, from the lecturers. It's all in text. And it's all based on, on your own flexibility to, to study it online. Uh, because uh, you will have a tutor throughout all those, uh, th those 10 weeks of studying. And the tutor will be there to help you, to guide you through those uh, lectures, to, to, through, those, uh, through those unit materials. Uh, that's, gonna be the, uh, uh, that's gonna be what the tutor is for. Uh, but the tutor will, is, is not going to give any lectures uh, per se. It's based on, on yourself and, and your own uh, questions, which you're gonna uh, ask the tutor to help you with. So you're the one who initiates uh, the talks with tutors, and tutors are also uh, providing you with some with some feedbacks uh, uh, and and some questions in, in such a way. Uh, oh yes, uh, uh, um, this is what we changed during the during the COVID times. Uh, so. Um, on fourth of uh, of March, which was on Friday, we had uh, we had uh, uh, the the meeting uh, at uh, at the University of London, and we have decided uh, to abandon uh, research centers and uh, teaching centers. Um, uh, exams. Uh, first reason why we did that is because uh, uh, it's uh, you have to pay eighty pounds <laughs> or or minimum forty pounds in in certain countries to be in uh, to, to actually be at the exam. But uh, by doing it online, uh, that costs uh, that that not uh, that cost will not uh, be uh, uh, be taken. And uh, uh, John Paul, it is possible to take two modules in a year. Yeah, it is possible to take. Uh, it's uh, possible to take even more than that. It's uh, it's uh, possible to take uh, uh, four modules in a year. Uh, it's possible to take uh, one module per session. 
uh, that's not not a problem at all. So you can take uh, you can take uh, uh, four modules uh, per year and take four uh, four exams. Um, so that's uh, that, that, that's uh, that's possible, no problem at all. And uh, but all the exams are going to be taken or uh, taken online. So uh, j just uh, j just to you will have. Uh, uh, the exams are going to take in a, uh, be taken at the same and different times. Uh, it's like the like around six weeks, I guess, in September and October, where exams are taking place, and uh, uh, they, they're not taken at the same. They're not going to be taken at the same time. Each exam you will have uh, forty eight hours uh, uh, to to uh, for each exam, and uh, they're going to be uh, taken at different times in September and October. There are the, the different uh, different dates for each exam to take place. They're not taking uh, taking time at the same time. So that's going to be that that's going to be in such a, in such a way. Uh, so uh, uh, that's uh, very well organized. Uh, 150 years of practice uh, makes it perfect uh, to organize distance learning and uh, uh, to, to have it all clear how uh, how how it's done. Uh, so uh, it's it's a uh, it's a long uh, t t time. So now everyone is doing distance learning, online learning, but uh, University of London is doing it. For 150 years already, so they're not changing much of how they have done the things, uh, the, the things before. So we were thinking about uh, going back to exam centers, but uh, at the end, uh, it seems that it's all going to be online uh, when it comes to uh, how the how uh, exams are going to uh, uh, take place. Uh, can I take an elective module before a core module? It depends on the, on the program, but mostly you you can. However, uh, in in most of the of the programs, uh, we uh, recommend that you first take your your uh, core modules first, so that you that that you establish your core your your core strengths first, and then you you get electives. But uh, uh, for instance, for my own international business administration. Yeah, you can. You can take uh, the, the the elective modules before the core modules. However, I'm not sure about uh, about certain other. Uh, so and uh, there are no uh, there, there is a visual learning resource but not audio. There are no uh, there are not uh, uh, there is there is no online lectures uh, at all uh, uh, provided. Some, some yes, uh, but it's more, more like kind of a online videos which you can, which you can watch uh, as a part of your, as a part of, of your uh, uh, learning. But uh, the modules are made in such a way that you don't need it. Uh, it's all mostly text, uh, mostly text, with some videos here and there, and some online lectures uh, here and there, get online guest speakers. But it's uh, it's not provided. Uh, uh, it's not provided uh, as as a, as a kind of a that that it's uh, uh, throughout. Uh, so uh, what, what we have, we have a comprehensive study packs with the units, textbooks, and readings. Some of them do include uh, some visual materials as well, but uh, it's a rather exception than, than it, that it's really taking place. Uh, we just wanted to make it simple and to, to make it straightforward because we have students who are, for instance, um, uh, doing their field, field work. Uh, we have students who are, who are employed by the UN, by the World Bank, and uh, sometimes they are in some very remote locations where they don't have a uh, uh, where they don't have uh, uh, internet connection, and so that's why it's uh, it's better to have it all in tech uh, in textual material. Uh, we have a visual uh, vi virtual learning environment uh, where we have uh, this kind of a online platform, which is both uh, uh, um, which is both audio and uh, and visual as well. So you can you can uh, uh, access your tutor. Uh, you can you you can have uh, discussions with your mates. Uh, 
with your classmates online. Uh, so this is this is uh, the the virtual platform. And you, you and you submit your 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 paperwork. Your sorry, your 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 assignments. You submit uh, on that virtual platform. You have your academic tutors, which are there uh, throughout these 10, 10 weeks. They uh, they have seventy two hours to respond to your questions. We put seventy two hours uh, because of the time zones, but uh, it is um, it is your usually that they respond immediately unless it's like a three o'clock in London when you're submitting your questions you will have to wait a couple of hours <laughs> so it's like a nine to five uh, work let, uh, let's say so but uh, they, they 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 have to respond it in uh, in 72 hours that's kind of a uh, ground rule uh, so uh, you you also have a source and University of London sent house and source library uh, which you can use uh, source is one of the, of the national UK national libraries well we have five national libraries in the UK and source is one of them so you have really amazing resources uh, as, uh, as in the library at SOAS and uh, later on uh, when you graduate you still have alumni access to the library. The same is for U University of London Sand House Library. It's one of uh, one of uh, the richest uh, libraries in, in, in the UK and the world. The same is with SOAS Library as well. Um, it's like really the resources you have in both in both sources combined. It's really uh, it's really amazing and you have a lifelong alumni access, uh, access to them. Uh, another point I would mention is uh, the the study skills resources, the resources on uh, on uh, how to write the assignment, how to study online uh, and on distance, how uh, how to uh, do, do do the rigorous work, uh, what is academic integrity. All of that is available online, and all of you will really, uh, will really uh, uh, get uh, an amazing, uh, uh, an amazing uh, uh, help uh, in hand with all those uh, study skills uh, resources from both University of London and so us. Uh, so. Uh, if you would like to see how the the the, the modules uh, actually work, oh sorry, uh, uh, another point I forgot to mention <laughs> is uh, uh, entry requirements. So you should have uh, an upper second class UK bachelor's degree or international equivalent in any discipline. And sometimes uh, the students, uh, if the students have uh, uh, lower ranked degrees, but have uh, really uh, um, in do, uh, a lot of work experience, it, it, has, it can always be uh, recognized into your favor. Uh, relevant professional experience always counts. Uh, and uh, if your first degree is not taught in English, you will need to provide evidence of a language uh, ability, TOEFL, or 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 um, any any similar uh, IELTS uh, or any similar um, uh, English uh, English ability requirement. Uh, so the fee is uh, 1,820 uh, pounds per per module, uh, which is like uh, as as it is in in many of the uh, let me see I have a question uh, that that's exactly uh, that's exactly what uh, what, what uh, this uh, uh, digital library uh, you don't have to be in the UK at all to visit the library yeah what when I was talking about library I meant digital libraries I should have uh, mentioned it mentioned more uh, more uh, uh, clearly, uh, what I meant was digital resources, which are really amazing, uh, in both uh, University of London and uh, and uh, yeah, SOAS Library, both online. Everything is available online. You don't have to be uh, present uh, at SOAS to uh, to be able to access those uh, digital resources, uh, which you, which we need to uh, to have. Everything is available online. Uh, 
so which makes me uh, which makes it so and uh, uh, you you have it uh, you, you have it uh, as a as an alumni once you graduate you have uh, you have it uh, uh, as an alumni you have an access to all of those source resources uh, so uh, what I would the last point I would say is the fees the fees are like uh, 1820 per module and 10920 pounds uh, for uh, for an uh, MSc, as we can see, like the difference uh, when you are studying online, when you're studying on campus, and when you're studying uh, studying online, the the fees are much higher. The fees are uh, around twenty one thousand pounds when you are studying uh, studying uh, 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 studying uh, on campus, uh, and like at the moment uh, our students which are studying on campus are actually studying online <laughs> that's why i'm i'm always mentioning it's on distance and that's why it, uh, the it's 10920 pounds and uh, depending independently whether you are a british citizen or you are uh, international student you uh, uh, you pay the same amount 10920 pounds uh, the scholarship uh, scholarship is uh, available but most most of the scholarships are coming uh, uh, and some kind of a uh, internship loans are coming from employers uh, they are most most linked for the employers but you can also check it uh, on SOAS website uh, and the University of London website uh, if there are any particular scholarships which you, you may take uh, so at the moment, uh, there there are some, but there are not that, that many of them which which can be which can be taken. Um, I'm not even sure that the Chivening Scholarship operates on on for distance learning programs, uh, but we should definitely lobby also Chivening Scholarship so so that they're also able to operate on distance learning as well. That you don't have to take to take the courses uh, on campus uh, to 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 get uh, to to get a scholarship but uh, 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 at the moment uh, still uh, it is uh, it is uh, much better value for money to take uh, to, to take the things online uh, or to, to take this uh, on distance learning than to take it uh, uh, than to take online because uh, at the moment our students are actually studying online but they are paying uh, as if uh, they are on campus so this is learning is really is is really uh, something that has the, the the best of both worlds uh, uh, of, of uh, online and uh, distance learning and what else I would like to uh, to mention is that we have uh, at the moment we have uh, with our with our future learn we have uh, uh, the, the courses if you would like to see how it works at so us we have our uh, MOOC, MOOCs uh, courses on risk management in the global economy understanding public financial management. Uh, so you can see uh, some some of specimen examples about uh, uh, how uh, how we we work and how we operate. Um, we also have uh, on our website you can you can download uh, download uh, some of the units uh, on our Safim's AC UK website. You can download the the the, the units and see uh, whether it's it is something what you feel comfortable and the way how it is delivered is something you feel comfortable with. So uh, uh, last but not the least, a couple of more slides uh, to put here. Uh, these are some of the uh, some of the the avenues where our graduates uh, work and. Uh, uh, we, uh, and where our, our uh, students are employed later on. And also uh, your, uh, European Bank of Research and Development employs uh, some of our some of our students. Uh, many of those uh, consultancy uh, big consultancy corporations are, are employing our students. Um, so th there is there there is a much a wider list of uh, of uh, uh, of our uh, of our students where they work. Uh, so British uh, British British Embassy. I don't know whether it's mentioned here, but trade and, and investment uh, platforms, 
uh, throughout the world, many public uh, policy, uh, big uh, big international organizations, the all in point guard students uh, at, at the moment. So we we have uh, uh, we have worked. Uh, we have been working in partnerships with uh, many big uh, international organizations. Uh, so, if you have any questions, uh, you can always ask uh, ask uh, ask me. And uh, here, uh, uh, Dr. Alberto Asker, who is uh, a module uh, pro program director of uh, public policy management and financial sector management uh, modules, is here to answer any of your any of your questions and I'll, I'll stay here uh, for as much as it's needed to answer some of your some of your questions i hope uh, i hope uh, i wasn't uh, i didn't take so much of the time to, to to go through the slides but uh, if any other questions uh, we are here either on chat or if it's possible we can also answer them uh, like you can also speak directly to us. Any further questions? I guess no. Uh, Katie and Rachel, uh, if yes, hello, yes, hi, Ibrahim. Yes, uh, I have uh, thank you for the uh, brief presentation. Uh, I have two questions one is about uh, the academic tutors. Uh, according to your presentation, it seems that. Uh, the whole learning will be just uh, a reading material, mostly, except in some uh, cases where uh, it is required to interact with uh, maybe fellow learners or uh, the academic tutors. Yes. So, uh, what will be the role of the academic tutors, uh, except uh, where just answering questions yeah. to service? Uh, and then the other question is. Uh, if uh, I have uh, received uh, an offer, or maybe I have started uh, uh, with uh, uh, maybe, let me say, MSc in public policy management, and then maybe uh, later I have that uh, intention to move to other sister uh, courses, like maybe, let me say, development studies. What is the protocol and uh, what's the way forward? Over. Yes, so uh, uh, as far as I understand, uh, the, the courses are not connected, so you can't move from one course to another. Uh, like you, you can move to those courses which are on SEFIMS, uh, those programs which I mentioned uh, here, uh, you, you can move without uh, any problem. Uh, let me just say uh, like, uh, 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 financial and financial law, banking, economic policy, financial sector management, quantity finance, international business administration, public financial management, the public policy management, you can move uh, uh, because they operate in the same way. However, CISD courses uh, are are uh, the courses in diplomacy are 16 week long and they operate on the different ways, on different platforms. So it's not that easy to, uh, to, to move uh, from one to another. However, our courses are, are operating on eight weeks uh, programs, actually 10 weeks, uh, so, sorry. Uh, so uh, it's easier to, to, move, uh, to move, if you wanna move from banking to financial sector management, it's just a matter of characters uh, chatting in, in between uh, related to uh, uh, which program you are you are at the moment uh, you, you you are you applied for public financial management you said no I said uh, it's public policy man and management 
Yes, I think uh, about the tutors and tutors' role, I think Alberto can uh, say a bit more about this one because uh, Alberto is a program director of, of public policy and management. If Alberto is here, can say a few more words so that it's not, not only me speaking. I can add anything else. Alberto? Uh, yes, hello, Stenia. Sorry, just Hi. to switch on no worries. microphone and, and all these. Uh, yes, here I am. Yeah, I wasn't sure whether you were still uh, here. <laughs> just uh, saving bandwidth and uh, being able to, to listen better in this way. Uh, so, yeah. uh, thank you, Stenia. As you said, uh, within uh, the opening of savings, there are the two MSc programs, public policy management and public financial management, two sister programs. They do overlap to a certain extent although the public financial management program is more specialized in a sense. The public policy management program does cover uh, several ways to tackle the public sector, the management of the public sector. So there are a number of modules concerning public policy, others concerning public management, and others concerning uh, public financial management. Instead of the MSc, public financial management is definitely more specialized. They may, it may attract more an interest from the side of uh, accountants, uh, people already working possibly, in central government uh, uh, treasuries uh, or finance uh, uh, finance departments, uh, and uh, roughly we may have uh, four times more students uh, in PPM with respect to BFM. Having said that, however, as I said, there are some overlaps. So even if you take uh, the PPM, public policy and management program, it is still possible to select uh, modules uh, from the public financial management program in case uh, you may like to study more subjects like uh, uh, financial planning and programming and budgeting in the public sector or public sector accounting or auditing or the way in which taxation and other sources of revenues are made in the public sector. And so these are just a few words to zoom into the details of these MSc programs, but very happy to take any more specific questions. Yeah, if you have any questions, you can always contact Alberto as well uh, further on uh, on email. It's AA144, I think. Is it? That's <laughs> correct. Sort of uh, so the uh, AC OK. Uh, but uh, um, yeah, yeah. And uh, what's the role of the tutors? Uh, so who will answer, uh, Alberto or myself? If you like, I can spend a few words, Senia. Yeah. So we have a pool of about 80 tutors, and most of them, they're like colleagues in other UK university, UK-based universities. A few of them are based abroad, okay. but typically they share a um, uh, heritage, having uh, studied or taught at SOAS in the past. So we keep these uh, intellectual link linkages and collaboration with, with them. And uh, the role of tutor over the course of the study session is the one to provide assistance to students uh, in many ways as uh, students uh, require this to happen. So there is an online forum where students uh, try to um, induce uh, some thinking, uh, some discussion from the side of the students. But on the other hand, the tutors are just there in case there is any question, either in the forum or through via direct uh, messaging through, through the virtual learning, uh, virtual learning environment. Tutors do, do also play an important role uh, whenever it comes to marking uh, the assignments, especially the first assignment, because the feedback which they provide uh, to the first piece of written work from the side of the students uh, is quite uh, crucial to signal whether they are on the on spot, uh, on the right track, uh, based on what they write uh, after the first uh, four weeks uh, into, into the course. Having said that, as uh, Senia explained, uh, uh, these uh, programs were originally designed, uh, conceived, uh, as uh, distance learning programs, not uh, quite uh, online learning programs, uh, which means uh, we do not kind of force or pull uh, students to be online, to interact uh, live uh, or in a timely fashion to assignments uh, given online and so on. It's a deliberate choice, which typically fits uh, with a busy work uh, and life uh, family schedule of most of our students. So students may feel uh, to be kind of in a solo mode sometimes because they have the assigned readings to do typically in the evenings or in the weekend, but still they're not alone. Anytime they want to have an exchange, they have any questions to post to, to tutors, there are tutors, tutors assigned to them. 
I believe Senior, we must still retain a ratio of one tutor to about 10 students. So tutors are never quite overburdened, and so they can reply typically in a timely fashion. Yeah, indeed. Uh, so they're always there to help during those ten during those ten weeks of of, of studying uh, and uh, to give a uh, to give a feedback. It's not just about the questions, but also there is a discussion forum and by um, some some questions, some thoughts, uh, as well as as you go as it goes along. So so yeah. And I got another question on um, on the chat box. Um, what is the difference between SAFIM Source and the University of London? Indeed, it's a bit confusing with all those acronyms. Uh, like when I just started, uh, I had uh, I had the same uh, same question uh, as well. Uh, so, the University of London is uh, is a big confederation of the universities uh, which provide distance year learning courses. So. Um, University University of London works uh, in partnerships with uh, institutions like SOAS, LSC, King's College, uh, University College of London, and all the other institutions around, which are actually delivering uh, all those distance learning programs. So, for instance, uh, King's College would work mostly with uh, with computer science, uh, uh, with computer science goes with more, mostly with arts. And we are working uh, with, uh, as SAFIMS, uh, as, uh, as uh, in SOURCE, we are providing um, uh, uh, like distance learning programs uh, related to SAFIMS, uh, CISD, um, uh, gender, media as well. Uh, so, and we are mostly working with, with the master's to, um, uh, MSc programs. So, well, for instance, LSC works on undergraduate programs in uh, Finance and management. We at SOS uh, do postgraduate programs in finance and management. So we are not overlapping, but we uh, we, we we do uh, different kinds of uh, uh, degrees uh, th throughout. And uh, SAFIMS is a part of SOS. Uh, uh, so uh, SAFIMS uh, is one of those four programs, uh, which uh, one of those four centers at SOS which offer distance learning. So you have SAFIMS, you have CISD, and you have Center for Gender and Media Studies at SOAS. And, uh, and at SAFIMS offerings, you have, uh, uh, you, you have uh, uh, finance and financial law, finance and banking, finance economic policy, financial sector management, quantity finance, international business administration, public financial, financial management and public policy and management. Those are the programs which are offered uh, through SAFIMS. This is a part of SOAS and uh, SOAS is a part of University of London as, as the way how, how, how to talk about it. So it's uh, the big, the big uh, umbrella is University of London. Under the University of London, there is SOAS, and under SOAS, there is SAFIMS. I hope it's a bit clearer, clearer now. Yes, no? And you, you get uh, uh, accredited degrees from the University of London. Yeah, no worries. It is it is a bit of a uh, of a, it's a big big institution and, and a big structure. So it works like that, as I say, for for uh, more than hundred years uh, for when it comes to distance learning. So so far it works well, but let's see. Uh, so so far so good. Uh, we don't change much. Uh, we just we just uh, as uh, the technology became more uh, uh, m more in place we have uh, we have actually uh, just uh, uh, up, uh, applied new technologies to uh, to to, uh, to the ways how we how we operate so it's a bit easier uh, so we can now do uh, exams. Uh, we don't have to do exams in the centers anymore. Uh, 
uh, exams are done uh, at home. Any other questions we have so far? We still have five minutes, uh, as far as I as far as I understood. So last uh, last questions? Yes, no. We have we have seven more minutes actually. Yeah. Like I'll just to, jump in and sorry, yeah, I'll just yeah. jump in and say thank you so much for that great session. Um, and just so that all our students are aware, we have recorded this session and we will be sharing it with you via email as well. So yeah. if there is anything that um, you know, maybe you want to go back and uh, revisit or look through again, um, then we will be sharing that with you. So um, yeah, thank you again. I think that was a really great session. And um, yeah, unless there's any more questions, we can finish a little bit early. Um, we can hold just, on for a few uh, more moments. Yeah, just if there is anything, uh, uh, just to, to clarify, uh, uh, these are th this is the way how how we work. Um, we work mostly with the textual material and also uh, like, like some some of, some of our modules uh, are very quantitative and uh, they, they you really need to work uh, with with the, with the texts as as it goes around and this is the best way uh, the best way uh, to do this and uh, this is really what uh, makes us different uh, from all those degree meals which are which are mushrooming online. Uh, so we keep our academic integrity and uh, we do it uh, with the, with the, the the textual material with units which uh, with with the uh, the the reading which you need to do and uh, that's uh, that that's the way how we make say we we make it a, a different. Different, uh, how we we make ourselves different from uh, other uh, 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 others uh, on on the uh, which offer distance learning programs. So sure, uh, uh, just uh, to put my email address. Uh, here in chat as well if anyone needs uh, has any further questions and uh, uh, Alberto's is uh, AA144 as far as I remembered uh, so you can always contact us uh, uh, so yeah, if I register for MSc and do finish uh, four modules, but it's continue later, yes, indeed, you are eligible for a diploma. Uh, you, you, we call it the exit degree. So you register for MSc, but uh, you you did four modules, not all six modules. You come up with uh, with a diploma. Uh, if you do only one module, you you all have uh, the you you get. Uh, a, a professional uh, award. If you get two, uh, if you do two, you get certificate. If you get four, you get a diploma. If you get all four of them, you get uh, you get uh, uh, an MSc degree. And uh, again, you don't need to do this dissertation per se. If you want, for some employers, you need to do these dissertations, or in some countries, you need to do the dissertation. But it's not a requirement for for everyone. You can do it, uh, but you don't have to. So if you want to do dissertation, the only requirement is that you do uh, one, one module, which is research methods. So that's uh, that's all, unless you're doing quanti quantitative finance. If you're do doing quantitative finance, you don't even need to do uh, the, the, the methods one. So other than that, that's the way, that, that's the way it goes. So if you don't have any further questions, uh, just would like to thank you for, uh, for uh, being here with us uh, today. And uh, I would just like uh, to, to say that if you have any further questions, you can always contact me on, on my email. Brilliant, thank you so much, everyone. That was great.
Thank you. Th thank, uh, you. Th uh, thank you, uh, Katie, Rachel, and, uh, and Alberto. And uh, uh, thank you for all of you who uh, who came to this open uh, open uh, um, op open day session. So looking forward to to seeing uh, to, to to hear more from you and to see you in our in uh, on our modules. Bye bye. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thanks. All right, thank bye. you.